All right, hello everybody. Today we're going to take a look at light burn circle arrays. So circle arrays are one of the array tools within Lightburn that allow me to duplicate an item and in this case uh, wrap it around a circular path. So we're going to do a couple examples. Um, first example is going to be really simple and something everybody seems to like to do and that's make a clock. So I'm going to take and start out with my clock face, set my size the way I want it. And then I'm going to draw my first tick mark for my 12 o'clock location. So that gets us started. Let me center all this up. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to take that tick mark and I want to distribute it 12 times uh, around the path, the inside path of the circle. So first thing I'm going to do is select the tick mark. Second thing I'm going to do is select the circle. Click my circle array. And I want to do 12 of these. I want to rotate them, and last, lastly I want to select use last selected object position as center. Without that checked, you notice this gets darker, um, without that checked it's actually taking the circle and making 12 copies of it, and since it's a circle when it rotates it obviously you're not seeing anything different. Um, but if I check that, it basically says the last thing I selected is my path, and I want to only have the one copy of that but duplicate everything uh, duplicate the other item in this case 12 times so when I did that you'll see I've got 12 nicely spaced tick marks every one of these is a different uh, object so if I wanted to come in here and you know shrink up my in-between marks or whatever I can do that really easily um, I can manipulate each one do something funky with it so I mean just you go in and play with it everything's a, a, uh, a standalone shape in this case once the array is completed so it actually copied it'd be the equivalent of copy paste rotate copy paste rotate uh, circle array does that for you so there's one neat little simple way to use circle array so another option is going to be same thing I'm just gonna put something on the outside this time um, in this case, I've got this little Cocapelli here, and I want to trace him, and then get rid of the original. Okay, so I'm going to take this, shrink that down, and I want him to dance around the outside of that circle. So let's go ahead, align that. I'm going to select him first. Now, just to show you this backwards, if I were to do this and select the Cocapelli second, when I do my circular array, if I choose last, you'll see my circle actually dances around him, and that's not what I want. So I want to make sure to select my circle second, or last in this case. Now I'll rotate my objects, and let's put a whole bunch of them out there. All right, there you go. So we've got a bunch of dancing cocapellis. I can choose to keep the center circle or get rid of it, whatever I choose. Um, so that's just another, you know, another means inside, outside, uh, way of using um, the circle array. So now the last thing I want to take a look at, actually two more things. Um, the last thing, the second, next to last thing I want to look at is I want to make a little gear. So what I'm going to do, draw myself a circle, put a square for my first tooth. Put a square for my first tooth. Okay, I'm going to line these up. And let's go ahead and put a little tapered, a little taper to the top of this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is use a Boolean operator here, and I'm going to union these. I'm going to union these, or, or I'm going to screw up a perfectly good video in this case. So let's try this again. There, 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 there. Okay. I'm going to union these like I tried to do the first time. Select that, select my circle, circle array, and 
Okay. So now I've got a whole bunch of individual teeth and I've got a circle. Um, if I were to just to select all this and try to union, you'll see that my union's grayed out because there's more than two objects here. Um, so what I can actually do, unselect the circle and group these. And so now I've got one grouping. So now it knows that I want to take this group and this circle and union those. You can do other fun things with it. If I wanted to do a intersection, or I'm sorry, here's an intersection, here's a subtraction. Um, that's kind of a neat little dovetail look, so that's kind of fun. Um, but in this case, I want to union it, make my gear, put a little cog in the center. Maybe adjust the size of that a little bit, whatever. All right, so there's a nice little gear, little cog. Um, just uh, using nothing but the circle array and a little bit of Boolean operations. So it's, uh, it's kind of neat. I, I would say just take it, experiment with it, um, see what you come up with, because you can come up with a lot of neat, as you saw, using like subtract and, and union and stuff like that. You can come up with some neat designs. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to look at, which is kind of neat, is using the circle array in a little bit different fashion. In this case, what I want to do is I want to take and I want to rotate this and I and watch what it does. So it actually takes the center of this rectangle and uses that as my rotation point. And as I start layering on more and more, I can kind of get some really neat designs out of this. Um, obviously, every even number is going to have overlaps, so that's why you don't see um, the star pattern as you do on the odds of the overlaps but when you get on some of these odds some of these things it's like an old spiral graph um, it's just a really neat effect so just some things to uh, play around with um, the other thing you can do is start moving your center point around so if you don't have an actual path like that circle um, I can move this around play with it um, and what I'm doing is I'm moving this center point. So I've moved this center point over to X100. If I want to move my Y to 100. Um, so it's, you know, playing around with the center point and playing around with rotate will give you some neat little uh, effects as well. So you can't break it. You can't hurt it. You can undo. You can cancel. You can do whatever you want. So play with it. Play with it. Don't be afraid to experiment. Uh, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. So that does it for what I wanted to review on circle arrays. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention is don't forget to go check out the Facebook Lightburn Software Support Group. Uh, it's a huge community now, and odds are that somebody has probably asked, if you've got a question, somebody's probably already asked it. Go do a search. Um, go search through the documentation. If you don't find it in either of those two places, by all means, post your question. But, you know, I just ask that you be as detailed as possible. Give us, you know, details on what version you're using, what machine you're using, what control or anything like that. Um, if you're asking about functionality like we were just looking at, um, show some screenshots or, or do a quick video grab. Um, you know, kind of the, the more details you can provide, the better we're going to be at being able to answer your question. Um, other than that, until next time, uh, make sure you, if you like this video, click like down below, click subscribe, and I will release more videos as time permits. Uh, until next time, thanks everybody.